You know, Syracuse has been known not only in this NCAA tournament, but ever since they've been under Jim Beheim for their great zone defense and also how they play in transition after a steal or a defensive rebound. But what Syracuse also does is run some good half-court offense. It's just a question of whether they're going to hit the shots that they get. But they get good open shots, and they usually do it off of ball screens. They make great use of ball screens in the half-court. Right now, they're going to be in a horn set. Two guys up top. Two in the corners, both of them shooters. So we got CJ Fair up top by Musicata, and in the corner, Brandon Trish. In the other corner, James Sutherland. We'll have Michael Carter Williams out top, and he's going to take the ball off this initial double screen action to take it from the left hand side of the court to the right. So bring it off this double screen up top. As that's going on, Brandon Trish is going to go to the other side and empty out, and James Sutherland is going to come off that same double looking for a shot. Now, if that shot is not there, as soon as he clears, C.J. Fair is going to go all the way down into the low post, and Sutherland is going to run right into a ball screen. Then it's going to be another double ball screen and give Michael Carter-Williams the opportunity to go in an open floor. Now, if the guy guarding by Musicata, the defender, is staying in the middle of the court, that's going to be a shot. If you're up hedging, Carter-Williams is going to be able to get around. He's really good off the dribble. If the guy guarding over here, the defender, if he helps in, Kick for an open shot. You got a lot of options coming off of this. Let's run at full speed, guys, up top. Horn set, up top, two big guys and two shooters in the corners. So let's go full speed. Come off the double screen. Sutherland comes off of the shot, it's not there, runs into a ball screen. The defender down low, nobody helps. Excellent. Let's take a look at how Syracuse runs it in their offense. Michael Carter Williams is going to come off this. High double screen. It's going to be set by the two big guys, C.J. Fair and Bai Musicata. Brandon Trish down low, clears out to the other end, and James Sutherland is not open for the shot, so he comes right into a ball screen, and it's going to be a double ball screen because Bai Musicata will come in behind and set a second screen, which is really hard for Yogi Ferrell of Indiana to navigate. He goes underneath. Michael Carter-Williams pulls up for the shot. That's very well run by Syracuse. So that's a look at the orange offense. Let's switch to the other side now. Jay's going to tell us what kind of offense Michigan's been running and what Syracuse will likely face tonight. You know, John Beeline's teams have always been terrific offensively. They do a great job with floor spacing. They've always got really good three-point shooters. And they've always taken advantage of a wide pin down. Even back when he was at West Virginia, he ran this wide pin down. It's really difficult to defend. We're going to have a two-guard front with Trey Burke, the best point guard in the country, Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, both out top. The excellent freshman, uh, Mitch McGarry, the lefty, and we're going to have Glenn Robinson Jr. on one side and Nick Stauskas, the Canadian freshman and the outstanding shooter, on the other. As soon as they make this guard-to-guard -guard pass, Burke is going to cut right off of McGarry. Now, this, can be, this is a scoring cut. Let's stop right here. It's a scoring cut, so he's looking for the ball off of this, but if his defender plays the play, and jumps it, he can always pop back for a shot or for a drive. He's an excellent offensive player that takes advantage of those reads. But he's going to cut through on this and opposite. We're going to fill up from the corner. And as that's going on, after that pass is made, McGarry is going to turn and set what, what we call a wide pin down. So he's going to pin down here for this man in the corner. And as that had, this is a great set because the cutter can come either to the ball or to the basket. It's very difficult to defend. If the defender comes under, he goes to the ball and can come out for a shot, or in this case, for ball reversal. If he decides to go over, he can cut back door and get that cut to the basket. So it can be very difficult to defend, and a lot of good things can come from it, including the screener, Mitch McGarry, who can oftentimes be wide open by slipping it right to the rim. But here they're just going to come up. Michigan's going to come up, and they're going to reverse the ball. When they get it over there, there's going to be another cut to the basket and fill up. And as we get a ball reversal here, back to Burke on the other side, McGarry is going to set a run-out ball screen. So he's going to come and set this ball screen wide. We've got two shooters, so a spread floor and a shooter in the corner. Coming off this ball screen, Trey Burke is outstanding off ball screens. He plays with great pace. He attacks the defender. After the screen, McGarry always rolls and rolls hard to the basket. As he does, there's a fill up from the corner by another shooter. So Burke has the option of dropping it off to McGarry. If there's help on the roll man by the wing defender, he kicks it out for a wide open shot, and he has always got the option to take it on his own. Let's run this thing full speed, guys, up top. Two guard front, guard to guard pass. 
And as soon as we make the pass, let's go. As soon as you make the pass, cut off. Now Mitch McGarry's gonna set that wide pin down. Not there, we're gonna reverse it. On reversal, cut through, and here's the run out ball screen. Defender helps up, and McGarry dunks it. Let's take a look at how Michigan runs it in their own half court offense. The guard to guard pass, and Burke cuts right through to the other side. And here's the wide pin down, which is very difficult to guard. The cutter can come to the ball or to the basket for a shot or a layup, and McGarry can go down into the low post. On ball reversal, McGarry comes out. He's an excellent screener, he's got great feet. Sets a run out ball screen, and he will roll to the basket every time, and he rolls hard. And Hardaway comes up from the corner, and he can get a shot if his defender, Travis Relaford, helps in. But they help up, and McGarry dunks it. Well, we'll see if that follows script tonight for that Michigan offense.